What's up guys, Jay? More than I have to kill, and I'm back here on Destiny, live in a tower, and it's Friday. And we all know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all motherfuckers know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel. But in case you are confused, this here is Dickface, aka Zhur, the agent of the nine. He's the rare NPC that shows up in the tower once a week with a backpack filled with exotic gear and weaponry. You know this, and I know this too, man. <laughs> We've been going through this. I'm pretty sure this is like week 117 of me doing my Zhur videos. And those of you guys out there that wonder, you know, why? Why do I still do this Jervigia after 117 straight weeks of not missing one Jervigia since Destiny's launching? That's your fucking answer right there. With Destiny 2 looming on the horizon in 2017, I'm not sure if there's any other content creator out there. Maybe DPJ. I'm not really sure what he's about these days. But I, I know in in bottom of my mind that I have not missed one Jervigia since this motherfucker has been coming around since Destiny 1, and I, I think that's the idea at the moment, is I, I, I want to catalog every single week that this motherfucker has been here, maybe even compile all the weeks that he's been here together at the end of Destiny 1, and you know maybe look back and see what the best inventories, the worst inventories were, and you know, just, just kind of to have that complete volume of sure, I, I, I think that's probably reason that I still come to fuck with this motherfucker. Even though, if you look at the tower, not many people come to fuck with this motherfucker anymore. Y'all motherfuckers are like, Jer's here. I'm just gonna get some more sleep. <laughs> we'll check. This motherfucker ain't going nowhere. We'll check him in a hot minute. So let's go ahead and spend that hot minute and check this motherfucker's sack. That's like literally 90% of the same shit that you brought last week, sure, right? Void Fang Vestments, Discipline, Strength, yes. Um, Crest of Alpha Poopy, Boatload of Intellect. Yup, and instead of Immolation Fists, we have the Peregrine Greaves, which Airborne Shoulder Charge deal bonus damage. I'm fairly certain there's a lot better Titan Exotics out there, but they are here if you do need them. As always, we have the Sarah Jessica Parker, also known as the Fourth Horseman. This is a full auto, high rate of fire shotgun with final round and return to sender. And trust me, you'll probably want that because this thing is an ammo hog. But on Arc Burn Weeks, it actually is one of the fastest DPS weapons against bosses. You get a nice weapons of light bubble, and you go ahead and just go to town on him, dipping in and out your bubble just to, ooh, give it to him. Good. <laughs> yes, I haven't seen that in a while in Jure's inventory. I wish I could say the same for the Void Fang Vestments and the Crust of Alpha Pope. Which, like, like I said last week, let's go ahead and get an exotic for something that they nerfed in the game to counteract that, right guys? No. <laughs> All they had to do was bake it so you didn't have to run past somebody to revive them. Because that was a real big problem in year one uh, Trials of Sorry, You could just run past somebody and revive them at the same time. <laughs> but uh, if they calm that down, there is no need to nerf the revive timers at all. But to, if you if you have a troubles in the Trials of Osiris and you need a little bit of help with the extra revive times, the uh, Crest of Alpha Loopies will help you out with that. But we also have the Nemesis Star Silver Bullet Skin and not a toy for the Zalo Supercell. So we actually have a couple ornaments laying around here that aren't ones that we've already seen before. But I wish I could say the same for the Void Fang Vestments and the Crust of Alpha Loop. It's beginning to feel a little bit like year one when this motherfucker used to bring duplicate inventories all the motherfucking time. Bungie, what are you guys doing with these inventories? breaking my balls here. You're breaking my balls. I'm gonna go ahead and summon my inner walking for that. What we need is, is better inventory. Maybe a cowbell. 
And what you need is some dirty needle exchange. This will go ahead and re-roll the interior perch, interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. <laughs> ah, shit. But yes, if you're not happy with the stat rolls on your exotics, you can go ahead and twist the fates with the dirty needles and try to get something a little bit better that suits your needs just a little bit more and it won't mess with your light level or progression of leveling said exotic so just be warned make sure that when you are rolling it don't keep rolling it when you don't have any fucking glass shards left or you're getting near and you get something that's kind of decent and you might not be able to pick up any more of these uh glass needles until next week when Jer comes around because then you're going to be stuck with an exotic that you like to use but has a shitty roll on it and you're going to be sad. Sad pet. <laughs> and then we got three of coins. We all know what these do, right? These extract exotic engrams from ultra level enemies with yellow bars in the PVEs. Basically bosses, except Except for the Flayers and Omnigool, um, they, they don't drop shit. Those are actually considered major enemies and not ultra level enemies. So the more you know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Look at me, I'm, I'm full of the memes this morning. <laughs> this is what happens when Mac actually gets a little bit of sleep before we do the Jervidge. He's like on fucking point with the comedy. So uh, you also get uh, exotics from the end of... Uh, Iron Banner, any type of PvP. Uh, Trials of Osiris seems to drop it very often, just like Iron Banner does. And uh, the upcoming SRL that we should be hearing more news about from the Burngees. Uh, you can also extract exotic engrams from the end of those activities as well. So make sure you go ahead and stock up on those. It's actually a pretty decent thing to have if you already don't have a full, I guess, complement of exotics you can still get good light level from it you can still get good light level from it and we have heavy ammo synthesis you get three heavy ammos for one strange coin and i still won't let you forget that this used to be five for one in year one you cheap bastard that's a gr what we need is more heavy ammo. <laughs> but yes, if you want to go ahead and pick this up, you have a surplus, a plethora of strange coins to spend. Um, I don't, actually. I, I use my strange coins very often by picking up these three of coins, and I've done a lot of re-rolling of my exotics to get the perk rolls that I like to, to suit what I'm... It, this is not my... This, this is... All my gears on my other character. It, Dismiss that. You did not see that terrible, terrible build set up there because it's just a bunch of random gear and armor. <laughs> However, what you don't want to dismiss is if you don't have an extra plethora surplus of strange coins, you could go out to Varix in the reef. Yes. <laughs> and for a little bit of ether seeds and some of that Glimrar, you can go ahead and buy some heavy ammo from him for the cheapest in the game, it's going to be 200 Glimrar for every, I think it's every one ETH of seeds. So if you go ahead and farm the Iron Team, you can get a lot of them in a short period of time. And you can use, what did I just say? Yes, it's right. Three of coins to extract exotic engrams from them as well. So not only do you get your exotics, a little bit of light level, and some fucking glimmer, but you can also go out to barracks in the reef. Yes. Buy some heavy ammo. And finally, <laughs> we have blue rarity sparrow upgrades. These will upgrade a blue rarity sparrow into a legendary rarity sparrow and will give you the color of the contrail as denoted by the player card shown on the say it with me motherfucking screen. Boom, bitch. A flawless Jervinchia. Take a bow, everybody. <laughs> Woo, yeah! <laughs> I'm just fucking... <laughs> but yes, this will give you the color of the contrail as denoted by the player card shown on the screen. We have we have made it through this vintage. What, what do you think about that, huh? You hope to be here again. Uh, well, 
I'm fairly certain you will be here again. However, I must take my leave of usure. I'm gonna go ahead and edit and render this video, get it up, and possibly maybe even get some extra sleep today. So, my name is Jay. Morning after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Look, oh, the Guardians are awakening. Nobody gets up at reset for sure anymore, but um, it's kind of sad to see the tower this deserted. Remember, remember year one? When Jure was around, and all oh, you you can just stand here and just watch it at reset. It would just be like, psh, 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 like the fucking Power Rangers are going ahead and teleporting into the goddamn command center. And Zora was like, Rangers, like Zordon, chill, money. <laughs> so. My name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you, Rangers, later. <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all, motherfuckers. Later.